eight very important drills to practice between lessons for people with hydrophobia. Exercise one, walking while making circles with your hands. Put your hands in an arrow position at the depth of 35 centimeters below the waterline and make circles towards the belly. Each circle ending back at an arrow position. It is very important to note that the circles in the water are done at the depth of 35 centimeters below the water line, which will reduce tension and stress and thus reduce the pressure in the neck and the shoulders while walking. Exercise 2. Hand stretch back on the wall. After practicing the previous exercise for 5 minutes, stretch for a minute standing with your back on the wall, holding it with your hands opened in shoulders width slowly and carefully slide down. With this action, we stretch the chest, shoulder, and biceps. In addition, we gently insert the scapula in, releasing the stress and tension from the neck and shoulder area, which is actually the center of mind and emotion. Exercise 3. Walking and rowing long doggy paddle. As we walk slowly, we stretch the respective hand parallel to our steps. For example, while walking with your right foot forward, stretch your right hand forward to the maximum. At this time, the left hand stays back as the neutral response to fear. Our body contracts and therefore it is difficult for us to breathe. Stretching relaxes our body and helps us release the shoulders and lower back. This way, we open the shoulders and lung area, which will help us open our breath. Exercise 4. Stretching the Lung Meridian After the previous exercise, we'll perform a stretching of the Lung Meridian running through the inside of the shoulder to the tip of the thumb. Holding your thumb up and in a slow and controlled way, stretch your arms to the sides and up to the maximum while releasing the neck. During the stretch, we will inhale air and after stretching for a few seconds, exhale the hair and release the hands back to parallel position. In this action, we actually open our shoulders. Stretching the lung meridian will help us to get more oxygen for each inhaling and reduce stress and pressure while moving. Exercise 5 Bubbles in the Water Inhale through the mouth for two seconds and then descend vertically down to the point where the lips are in the water and exhale through the mouth, making bubbles. Do so continuously for five minutes. If you feel comfortable, put your head in the water when your body, including the head, remains vertical. Only again inhale through the mouth and exhale through the nose, blowing bubbles in a very slow way keeping your back straight. If you do not succeed in blowing bubbles through your nose, you can exhale for two seconds and inhale for two seconds through your mouth. Exercise six, reverse arrow stretch. Cross your hands, lacing the fingers together, turn the palms so they are outward and stretch the hands slowly and continuously upward as much as possible. In this way, we will release and reduce the tension and stress we have in the shoulders and neck, which are the center of the mind and emotion and also maintain the lower back. Exercise seven, transitioning from floating to standing. This is one of the most important exercises for practicing the West swimming method of dealing with hydrophobia, fear of water. Hold the wall with two straight hands, inhale through the mouth and slowly and carefully lower the head in the water with your gaze turned down to the bottom of the pool. Only after your head is in the water while keeping the air in, ease your feet off the floor and let them float. After about two to three seconds with your feet floating, begin to release air through the nose and slowly bend the knees towards the belly until they are at 90 degrees with the bottom of the pool. Exercise 8. Float underwater 
bend three times your knees and stand up. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to read the full article to learn all the A drills. And don't forget to share it and, of course, swim in the West Women Technique. Yeah.